Okay, so I have played through Resident Evil 1, Resident Evil 2, and Code Veronica, uh, which I posted all the videos, of course, in the, my own Resident Evil walkthrough playlist. And I kind of wanted to do a review of these games years later after they were released, um, and kind of playing them now and what I've thought of them. Um, so... First of all, the first Resident Evil, the classic original, uh, you know, it's dual, dual shock edition I played, but it's still the same game. Um, it still has the cheesy acting that's laughable. Uh, uh, um, so you could choose from uh, Jill and Chris. Uh, Chris having two less slots for inventory than Jill. Um, so playing Chris is a little more annoying because you don't have the lock pick and you can't open those things and uh, having to travel back and forth between the rooms a little more. And I'm speaking from not, not really... Like all of these vi these videos I've made of these games... I'm speaking from my memories of playing these games when they first came out. All the memories coming back of playing them without, uh, you know, infinite ammo codes and crap. And I'm going on just the games themselves. That's how I'm reviewing these, okay? Um, so, I think, like, um, especially with the later iterations of the original game, like the DualShock Edition, where you have arranged modes and stuff, which is, is cool. Like, they have that. Um, I still think the original game is cut and dry. Like, there's really... It feels still fresh, honestly. Um, you know, when the hunters show up after you come up from... Uh, the one point in the game, I mean, you see in the video where the hunters make their first appearance, uh, like, first, it's really cool. Like, those things can decapitate your character by jumping at you and hitting you once. Like, yeah, they're very bad. Um, so you want to have at least, uh, your magnum or shotgun, hopefully, by that point. Um, the the puzzles are probably the hardest one I think is the painting bird room I guess um, but other than that the the puzzles are, are I, I thought there were more actually when I replayed this I thought there were more but um, I think the Resident Evil 1 remake had a few more, if I recall. Maybe at some point I'll play through that, I'm not sure. Um, overall, I think still that the first Resident Evil, the original first Resident Evil game, um, still holds up. Overall, it's simple enough to get through the rooms and backtrack and all that kind of stuff. The cinematics, even though I skipped through them, um, are fine. They still work for what they are. Um, the final confrontation with the tyrant, um, and then the twist reveal of Albert Wesker being a villain, you know, it still holds up, honestly. It still works. Um, you know, just with memory serving me and stuff like that. Like, I didn't pick up every single thing, I don't think, in the game in my playthrough this time. But, uh, you know, it's like you go to get the shotgun and then you have potential of getting crushed in that room because you need the broken shotgun to put on the, the mantle there to replace the... the normal working shotgun you took, right? You know, little things like that are really cool still. Um, when you play through uh, as Jill 
especially you I mean Barry shows up at certain points and I think you have to do certain things for the cutscenes to play out I think if I recall like the plant room when I when I tried to fight the plant boss and then Barry showed up and then he he flamethrowers it you know like I don't think Barry shows up if you do a certain way or certain thing first um the shotgun room is an example there he will show up at a if you go a certain way I think so that way you don't need to get the broken shotgun to put on the mantle you could just take the shotgun and Barry can save you like you know uh, that's cool I like the little little paths that they have in the original game because um I mean I remember them now um <laughs> But overall, yes, the first Resident Evil, solid game, um, still to this day. So we'll get to Code Veronica in a moment. So Resident Evil 2 is still my favorite of the entire franchise. Um, I played it. I played it through with uh, only once. Um, you know, you go through it again, and then you have Mr. X following you, but not as prevalent as the remake of Resident Evil 2, where he follows you pretty much everywhere. Because you make, like, noise, like, firing your gun, and he'll show up, which is, it's, yeah, it can get a little annoying. Uh, especially when you're trying to conserve ammo for bosses and stuff. But uh, the original Resident Evil 2 is still the best game in the entire franchise just the the police station and then kind of like the, there's a little bit more puzzles the introduction of the liquors the you know where you close the shutters to avoid running into zombies later like it just had more to it than the first game um and it's still a great game it still works overall and um to have like that you have to play through a second time for a true ending and the and it's cool when you do go through the second time uh, you kind of have like different placements of items so whatever the first character you pick like leon or claire you know, you leave certain items behind, so that way when you go through and play the second time, if if you took or left I, certain items in certain rooms, they'll be either there for that character or not there for that second playthrough character. So um, in that respect, like playing through again the second time to get the true ending, kind of worth it. Um, they really do a good, uh, good job and kind of... Um, with the remake and kind of almost combining um, that because Mr. X follows you right off the bat. Uh, well, not right off the bat, but you have to get to the helicopter, crashed helicopter section of uh, the police station. And then once you turn that corner, he shows up, you know, and then you, he follows you through the rest of the, that part um, primarily. Um, I think still the creepiness in certain parts of Resident Evil 2, the original music in the original Resident Evil 2, they all work really well. The dogs going down that, that one hallway, and there's it's kind of like a T section, and then the dogs, if you if you go to the, through the T part of that hallway, they come right at you, you know, and you can't see them, and you can hear them, and, um, you know, they... The original is still the best overall. Um, even like past the remake, I still like it more than the remake. But the remake is really good. So now to the last game, uh, Code Veronica X, or just Code Veronica, playing through it um, all these years later. I have a couple of nitpicks about it. It's still. An okay Resident Evil game. Um, I used to like it a lot more when I was younger, but I do have some nitpicks about it. 
First of all, the last boss fighting it three times is fucking annoying. Um, I know you have to grab, like, the, the launcher from the wall. But, like, to aim and she's shooting it with, with the fire and everything. Like, I remember entirely now um, why I hated that boss. The, like, one of the worst Resident Evil bosses because of that, where you had to fight her, like, pretty much, like, three times in the end. Um, and, uh, I mean, you have where she grabs Claire, and then when she turns into the bug chick, and then, of course, when she's flying around, you gotta, like, aim to shoot her. I mean, it's not impossible to nail her with the launcher, but still, like, I don't like that boss fight. I, I really don't, and I remember not liking it. Um, and that's not the most irritating part of the game. The most irritating part of the game is these moments where, like, the heartbeat is going, and then you're slowly opening the door to go into that room for... They do this constantly throughout the playthrough. And I remember playing it. Obviously, you see it in the video. They they, you, they have a lot of these moments there. And it just gets obnoxious. Oh, my God. When actually there's nothing on the other side for, for you to get anticipated about. Because, like, I remember when I played it through the... Um, originally, for the first time, like, it, I remember... After, like, the third, fourth time it did it, I was like, okay, there's nothing on the other side of this door. It's just like, oh, no, you're opening a door, the heartbeat's going off, and it's a slow-loading screen. It just got really obnoxious. Um, the... I don't like the starting weapons. Um... Even, like, the Magnum sounds like, the sound of it sounds terrible. <laughs> like, you look at Resident Evil 3, I mean, it even had, like, a, you know, like, the sound would go off. You, you, feel, you feel the impact from the sound, but, like, the, the gun sounds in this game are shit. I didn't like them. Uh, they don't, I don't know, they don't sound like they should. Like, obviously, the rocket launcher, you know, does, but... Other than that, like, it, they, it's weird. It's weird. Um, playing Claire for most of the game and then going to Chris is fine. Um, I would have preferred if they, you know, split them up into two different playthroughs. I mean, they sort of do, but you have to play through the entire, entire story to kind of, like get to Chris's sections. Um, I liked um, just the Antarctica section there is cool. Um, the bosses are interesting in this one. Um, Steve is annoying. Like, just as a, a side character, and his end result there, you see, it's that I, I remember playing for the, through the first time, and I, like, I don't know, I didn't loathe Steve, but I didn't care for Steve, I don't know, just wasn't a character that I gravitated towards, um, for whatever, it just, I don't know, maybe it's his voice. <laughs> Um, Wesker showing up, um, yeah, uh, I think, uh, well, the most annoying character actually is the, uh, the, yeah, I see my, I play through it and I forget his name now, but the main one that had, that had all the the armory weapons, the mansion, all that, that guy that shot at you a few times, like, at the character. Like, his voice was really irritating, even more than Steve's. Um, and not really a great villain. Like, Wesker is a cool villain, and, like, Tyrant's a cool villain, and uh, William Birkin basically making the G-Virus in the second game. 
like was very interesting and cool like but the main villain in code veronica sucks leading to the end boss sucking so that's perhaps like why i did a have not liked the end boss and Code Veronica and playing through this game and getting to that end there reminded me of that. Um, though I guess what I'm trying to say is like I don't care for Code Veronica as much as I did playing on the Dreamcast, which is initially where I played it in its entirety for the very first time. Um, I like some of the locations mm. and some of the puzzles are interesting. But I think, like, what holds it back now playing it through again is the end boss and the main villain are just not as good as the previous games. Um, even, like, Resident Evil 3, like, you had the nemesis following you through, uh, you know, it was very cool-looking design and everything. And, and even there, like, that was the main antagonist. Like, really cool. Uh, Code Veronica, not really. Um, and the, the twist about Alexia is her name, I think, where she's alive. And yeah, it, it, it just, the story, I guess, just really bugged me in this playing it through again. Like, it just didn't have the same impact as the other ones. And I get it, like, they're after Umbrella, they have to stop Umbrella. I don't know, Code Veronica just playing it through this time didn't, it depreciated, I guess, over time for me, I suppose. Would I play it again? Probably not. Um, I would rather go back and play the first three games, like Resident Evil 1, 2, and 3, or even the, the remake of Resident Evil 3 or the remake of Resident Evil 2. But Code Veronica, it's weird. I used to love that game and now not so much. And I still, Resident Evil 2 is the best of the franchise, like the original. And I would put the remake of Resident Evil 2 up there as well. Uh, the remake of Resident Evil 1 and Resident Evil 0. The remake of Resident Evil 1, I would, I would probably put, uh, put up in the, in the top. Resident Evil 0, I played it through, I think twice and I don't like the buddy system and that is interesting but I don't like how you have to your inventory is shared between two characters and the only way you share is you have to be in certain spots like that bugged the hell out of me Resident Evil Zero so I don't think I'll be playing that one uh, again because I just didn't care for that system the Resident Evil 1 remake might play through that. Might. I'm not sure yet. But out of all the ones that I've actually made videos for on the playlist, there Resident Evil 1, Resident Evil 2. Um, Resident Evil 3, I'm not sure if I'll play it or not. Uh, I'll have to wait and see. But, you know, it's weird, because Code Veronica used to be, like, one of my top Resident Evil games of all time, and Playing through again is just, I don't know, depreciated over time. And uh, my I less, it's a little game that I like less now. Um, just too many things that are annoying in it. And um, yeah, if you're going to play Code Veronica, you probably want to play the Dreamcast version if you can. It's probably the best way of playing it. Graphics are a little crisper. Um, I believe it has an arranged mode, if I recall. It's been forever since I played the Dreamcast version. The uh, version I was playing was the PS2 version of the game. So, yeah, there's there's a difference with PS2 and the Dreamcast version because the Dreamcast version has a bit crisper graphics, and I believe it has an arranged mode. Um, so, yeah. But that is my reviews on those three games there. And, um, you know, it's funny how your opinions change over time. And you've played a game that you love so long ago, and then you play it in recent times. It's kind of like your mind changes. It's just funny how that works. But, yeah. Um, well, we'll see if I play RE3. Um, we'll see if I get to the remakes or not.
Well, we'll see. Depends on if it goes on sale on Steam or not for the remakes. Um, I know they have the uh, remake of Resident Evil 1, but uh, I played through that like so many times on the GameCube. Um, I don't know. We'll have to see. Anyway, that's it.